So today, fortunately, there is more attention towards uh, elite athletes. And this is an example of exercise progression in the postnatal runner from Donnelly and co-workers. And you can see that they have also placed pelvic floor muscle strength and endurance training. But this is only set up at weeks one, uh, zero to two. And I think that's a very short period of improving pelvic floor muscle strength. So you need to continue for a longer period of that. But they have tried to set up an example of an exercise progression. I just wanted that the pelvic floor should be included all the way down and further on. So Moore and co-workers, they pre uh, presented this uh, study in return to running and running related stress union incontinence postpartum in 2021. So this is the most recent study. They had an online, online survey of 881 postpartum women within two years postpartum. And they were uh, defining running as to be uh, at least once per week pre-pregnancy. On average, return to running at 12 weeks postpartum, 84% uh, experienced pain in lower limbs, lower back, pelvis, abdomen, breast, thoracic, thoracic or coccyx while running. So although they are returned to running, they do it with some problems that, problems that may be improved by correct exercises. The increased odds of return to running postpartum was running during pregnancy, lower fear of movement, high weekly running volume pre-pregnancy, and no feeling of a vaginal heaviness or uh, that would indicate pelvic organ prolapse. So these are very important factors. They also looked at return to running and running related stress union incontinence postpartum uh, and the increased of odds of returning to pre-pregnancy level. And the odds were low pre-pregnancy weekly running volume, which is a bit strange, lower fear of movement, more than one child, also uh, surprising, being younger, and shorter time to running post. Partum. The increased odds of suffering from running related stress during incontinence postpartum was running related stress during incontinence before and during pregnancy. And this has been shown in many epidemiological studies that if you have this before you get pregnant and during pregnancy, you are more in risk of having it later. Therefore, it's very important to start to train the pelvic floor muscle at an early stage. And also having returned to postpartum running. This is a very important study and it's uh, the latest uh, that we have uh, published in this area.